So we are in the Miller Room at the Long Beach Library. And this is an amazing space. So we are here with Lily LaCour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I want to ask you a couple questions. Okay. Why does this room exist? Um, well, it's mostly our special collection. So we have, um, Lorraine Miller basically made, um, dedicated this room to her late husband in the 70s. And um, it's kind of like a replica of her home library. And so we have a bunch of um, her special interest was art. So we have a lot of fine arts books, um, mostly Asian art. And then in it, in this collection, we also have rare books. Um, as you can see right here, some of them that I pulled out thus far. Um, we have a collection for Marilyn Horn, who was um, an opera singer, and she an amazing opera singer. Yeah, and she <laughs> was from Long Beach, so we have her collection in that corner. I did not know that. I uh, know she moved here when she was eleven. Wow. So that's kind of what I'm going through right now. But so this room has existed since the seventies. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What is your favorite piece in the Miller? Um, I'm particularly interested in the Gutenberg Bible. The f Oof. And can normal that. people check these out? Not no. to take home, but in this room? No, not our rare books. Um, and we're usually really, 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 really strict about who gets to see it. It's usually for research purposes only. Um, so thank you for allowing us to be here. Well, I like showing off, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. So obviously this isn't the real original Grunberg Bible, but it's the facsimile. So how old is this piece? The um, the leaves that we have is from like the 60s or 70s. Okay. The original one was from like the 1400. So. Wow. This is beautiful. And like these all was like gold leaf, you know, in the original. But if anyone wants to use these for like research purposes, you can always contact the manager of the library or um, and talk to them about it or Lauren, who's um, my supervisor, and she'd be more than happy to, you know, flip through these for you. Awesome. The folio, the elephant folio, okay. the Audubon. Um, th those are lithographs and those are pretty, they smell rancid because they're <laughs> under plexiglass. Um. <laughs> I'm so sealed. Do you guys like John Keith? Uh, I also found um, a copy of Aesop's Fables that's like that big. And it was written in Greek and Latin. Oh, wow. So that was fun. Um, it's Aesop's Fables in Greek and Latin. They're original. And someone didn't cut it properly <laughs> when they were binding. Does the flaw make it worth more now that it's older? you think that it would. But as it's an imperfection, probably not. But yeah, fun stuff. I don't know if this can ever be restored. Just a fan cosplay. You're just a fan of history. Thanks to what do you think of this room? This room is amazing. You can tell he loves it because he's actually being quiet. Yeah, that's true. Also very true. Son of Ego Cosplay, what is your favorite part of the Miller room? Yeah, everything. <laughs>
just super water damage. Like, and what collection is this from? This is from the Birch and Smith Senior Collection. So it's one of our rare books. <sighs> and it's the Pied Piper that was specifically printed for the person that did the art. And it's inlaid with metal. I don't know what kind of metal. It's like pewter. Yeah. But... And there's always inscriptions on the inside somewhere. It was printed specifically for the person that did the art. Mm -hmm. And I think his wife did the calligraphy. Yeah, it's really pretty and tons of fun and super brittle and falling apart. Is that a great sound? I know, right? <laughs> it's like when you get a brand new hardbound book and I just know. like crash the spine. <laughs> I know, but see, this is what happens when it gets water damaged. And it doesn't get, you know, dried out instantly or anything. It just... It's sad. It makes me very sad. So, see that, kids? Take care of your books. Please take care of them. For my sanity. So we are looking at Shakespearean what from the 1800s? Um, these were just published from 1802 to 1804 in a series of I think 10 different books and they come with engravings and they're just fun. Mm -hmm. These are gorgeous. I know, aren't they amazing? This is how script should be made. <laughs> I bet. My favorite. The Scottish play. Yeah. I don't know if this is Fusilli that I'm thinking of, but if it is Fusilli that I'm thinking of, that's I amazing. I love their pasta. So. <laughs> yeah, and it says person represented. Like, this is everything. It's well, you're doing an amazing job here. You should be very proud of your work. I am. I love my job. This is too much fun. It's like working in my dream. I don't know. I wish this was my library. It is. <laughs> At home. You just don't have to dust it. Right. I do. Uh, I do, though. Well. So much dusting. Oh, my God. Can't have everything. No. What are the hours here? Um, we're open usually when the library is open, but Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're open from 4 till 8, and then Fridays, I'm noon to 5, and then Saturdays, I'm 10 to 5. Excellent. Thank you for spending some time with us. Yeah, thanks for coming. <laughs> well, if you get a chance, definitely come down to the Long Beach Library and check out this amazing Miller Room and all of the amazing volumes here. Um, check the hours on their website and uh, really just make a fun day of it. And this is a really beautiful library overall. Mm -hmm.